this past weekend, I believe this was past weekend, uh, Nicki Minaj goes on Kai's stream. Crazy monumental. Most live viewers that Kai's ever had at like 320K. Man. Yeah, hey. 3 a.m. Anybody who was watching him during that time was also pulling numbers. I mean, it was, was a... after SNS night, man. Yeah. It Stop. Was... <laughs> no, it, was that night. It, was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was. That oh, yeah, that had to be because that's the only time that we would all be up. But so crazy, crazy time. <laughs> Crazy time between Kai. I'm not gonna play it because the music's in there, but Kai, his mom is in the background to the right side, his sister, his twin sister's in the background. You know, he's got his friends here, he's got a, he's got Nicki Minaj here, and the internet hated it. Oh, the internet hated it. Oh my god, dude. how you know what? I don't because, know about the internet hated it. There was uh, a section, but majority of it was love. Let's let's not act like it was fine. Majority, majority of it being love, but specifically Elliot Wilson. Uh, who is a a hip hop journalist hated it. Um, Elliot Wilson is over Rap Radar, Rap Radar, and Apple production or whatever the case may be. I think, but Elliot Wilson goes on to Twitter and says hip hop journalism in a sarcastic manner. Now Nicki Minaj claps back at him. I'm not gonna lie, but I I personally believe in the same vein. This is Elliot Wilson, who is a 40 something year old man hating. Because Nicki Minaj didn't come and do his show for this album run. Yeah, I've seen, you know what's crazy? I've seen that Abby, so I guess that was him. I've seen an apology tweet. I never yeah. saw the original tweet. I saw an apology tweet. And I'm like, what the fuck are you apologizing? That's going to be on the pod. So I, so I just I just left it alone. I, I, like, I like the idea of at least live reacting to some of these things on the podcast. Unless it's crazy. So, wow. Okay, so that was the tweet. That's kind of... Yeah, that's kind of like you didn't do the show with me. First things first, let's let's knock this down. I ain't gonna lie. We give flowers when we're right. We gotta admit we uh, uh, at least half of us, at least Omar and I. What? I don't know what Domo said to be fair. Yo, Nikki got over in twenty twenty three, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That, that j- three hundred bands, three hundred bands live. She I ain't. Isn't that Kai's record? I'm, yeah, that's Kai's yeah, that record. Three three twenty. That was even more than the hundred hundred thousand. They're most subbed on the Twitch thing. Yeah. I think, honestly, Sage, I'm not gonna lie. That's more Kai Sinat. Mm. That's more Kai Sinat. Right. Nikki don't Nikki don't pull that live by herself. I don't but, think Nikki well, yeah. pull a hundred. I, I, yeah, but I think the the fusion high. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, a, a lot, a lot fusion, of the yeah. a lot of Nikki. I don't know. I think I think Nikki got. I think Nikki showed she had motion. Regardless, um, we going to the subject. We love her, Ando. Barb's. We love her. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Barb's Barb's the worst thing. But you know what? separate topic but um when it comes to the uh take i mean i don't i'm not going to even be long-winded here yeah buddy was just out of touch bitter and or out of touch probably a mix of both yeah. and i i don't know what it is streamers is streamers are disrespected same old same old shit this isn't a, i don't give a fuck take it's just literally another example of me saying the shit i know motherfuckers are probably gonna say oh my god creators bitching about creating ah oh, i uh, my pussy hurts all right hey I, we're just calling it how we see it and this is just another situation of dog you found a way to turn Nicki minaj shaking ass on a twitch stream into a hate take i don't even that's creative that's creative dick suck I, I do want to ask y'all, because I don't know, like the internet has been really trying to box Kai Sinat in this conversation. Do y'all count Kai as part of hip hop media? No. No, hip-hop. not at all. And I, I was going to get into a little bit of that with my take, but I don't want to take over what you got going on. No, no, it's that. I mean, that's the thing I, I want to talk about, to be honest with you, is because the uh, I think Complex made a list a couple months back on like the, the top whatever figures in media and they snuck Kai in there. Um and now you got Elliot Wilson talking about how Kai's hip hop media, but at least in my eyes, and I feel like this is because like we've kept up with him more than just the people finding out about him over the last year. Kai's a streamer who just got motion who brings these people on the streams. Like that's that's literally it. Like he is not a, a hip hop reviewer. When he reacts to music, I mean he does react to to music and obviously it's primarily hip hop. But it's not on some, all right, let's 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 review this like, on some Keith Lee shit. Like, it's just, hey, Nicki, dro- Nicki dropped the music video. Let's just watch the visuals type shit. Like, it's, it's not even that. So I do find it weird that, like, people are labeling him as part of hip-hop media when that's that's just not the case. So I, I feel like it's random so, dicks are from people who just don't know who the fuck guy is. So What it is really is when Elliot dubbed him a journalist, knowing goddamn well what Kai is doing isn't 
hip hop journalism, <laughs> yeah. more like new age Jimmy Kimmel. Like that's what doing a Kai Sinat stream is. Like you wouldn't have called Wendy Williams a fucking journalist, a hip hop journalist. Yeah. It, it, it's more of a, it, it's a show. It's an event. It's a spectacle. And that's all that was. So for him to dub it, oh, hip hop journalism, that's more a shot at niggas like uh, academics or niggas who come up through in that avenue and trying to discredit them, but they're just painting it with what Kai's doing. So it was real nasty work with the fuck he did with that. On top of that, the whole stream thing, listen, I've been known to be the Kai hater. Can't handle nothing he was doing. Double little stream. Shit was cool. And I disagree with Omar uh, heavily. I do think Nikki had a lot of motion in that uh in that 300 k for the simple fact the amount of bitches and gay niggas creaming on the timeline to rage and other buddy. <laughs> yeah. I have seen <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, the barbs I mean, we found yeah. out. Yeah. They, they hey, I'm about to say it was a lot of barbs trying to find out who X, Y, and Z was. Nikki brought them out for real. N Nikki brought out a new audience to the niggas that they did not have before. Uh, even if you want to say 55, 45 type shit, I can concede there. But I think Nikki had a big, big chunk of the motion going on to creating that 300K live or 300, uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm, ultimately, I, and I don't even care to to get into that one. It is a, a 50, 50, because that's not the, that's not my main point. I, I agree. The only thing that I don't uh, 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 agree with is, damn, it was something you said. I forgot. Um, who said Damo just said U ultimately Kai is just the thing like and not not to take away from him at this moment probably adjacent to Jimmy Kimmel um, oh I, I would probably consider Wendy, Wendy Williams more hip hop journal that was the thing I would consider her to be more hip hop journalism in that conversation just because she asks questions she tries to find out about the motivations and the storylines and what's going on with your life as opposed to like Kai Sinat, Kai Sinat, he had a plan and Nicki Minaj, he had a plan stream and Nicki Minaj was there. Like, I think that that's what is, is more so his vein. Kind of like you said with the Jimmy Kimmel thing. Although, even though on those things, they ask questions about what you got going on. Mm -hmm. But it's more just like a, it's just a show. Jimmy Kimmel's going to cook. Uh, Idris Elba's going to be there when he cooks. Because he was he's going to cook next week and Idris Elba just won't be there. So it's the same sort of concept to me. If there was a fishing dude, and mind you, he doesn't say that when they go on Carisha, not Carisha, Ari's cooking show, or I don't know if Jason Lee had a show where they made bath salts or something like that. Like he just wouldn't say anything like that. I think that this is just an older dude who saw a kid accomplish what he accomplished. And it took Jay, not Jason, Elliot Wilson, 20 something years to accomplish it. And Kai's done it in three years. Three. So I'm like, yeah, like in three years or whatever. So it took you 20 years to get to Rap Radar, and then Rap Radar just becomes irrelevant. And that's the way I feel about some of these people that we we're just talking about on ESPN. It took Kimberly Martin years, years to get on ESPN. That was her dream as a child. Hey, I want to be in the sports. I want to talk about sports X, Y, and Z. So I'm gonna just grind out. I'm a my high school basketball team. I'm gonna count the stats, and then I'll be the sideline reporter. For the uh, and the manager for the football team at my college, and I'm gonna do this down the third, and finally one day I'll get on ESPN just to find out that Cam Newton pulls more views than you because he just start he just had two cameras and a microphone, and now you just dry hating like you just it's, that's just hate, dog. That's 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 hate. Yeah, you you kind of said why though? It's stream versus show, so shows have more. I'm I'm gonna keep pushing that agenda, but um, I think at the end of the day. They got lost in the numbers. They got lost in the idea that Kai pulls X amount with this artist, Y amount with this artist. So they're like, oh, you got to be. No, the, the nigga just got, this is going to sound like crazy. Dicks. Nigga just got over, bro. So he just goes live. He's like, you know what? I'm going to react to this video. The rapper's like, oh, Kai reacted to this video. Hey, let me hop on stream. I got an album coming out in like two weeks. Fuck it. Let me do some promo. It's, it's a mutual. It's a mutual uh, business deal. I'm gonna do some promo. I'm gonna hop on this Kai stream. He's gonna go. He's gonna get like crazy numbers off of it. I'm gonna get my name trending. We gonna make it do. We gonna make business happen. It is what it is. But um, you know, older niggas. Yeah, I, th I think that too, because it is mainly coming from older people who grew up in traditional media. Because I would even argue people who are growing up or trying to go into traditional avenues now as a younger person would not have this idea. Because when we had um, Deep 3 on, they were talking about how, yeah, we, we went to college for sports media. 
but their landscape on it and, and their outlook on it is not shitting on content creators who made it without, you know what I'm saying, going to college. Because I would assume that people who are going to sports media right now, they're just integrating the fact that social media and content creation is just a part of sports media. But for the people who grew up and did journalism in the 80s and the 90s and the 2000s, now they grew up with a certain way um, as to how a journalist should act, as to how a journalist should grow. And they're seeing this new wave and they just don't know what the fuck is going on. And the only reason they know about it is because they have a team that does. Like, the same thing with Stephen A. doing his podcast on YouTube. Bro, he just started doing thumbnails, like, last week. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he has a team. So, let a, like, imagine just what Stephen A. would be doing if it was just Stephen A. It would just be live streaming, no thumbnails, no titles, no nothing. Stephen A. Smith is live. That's it. <laughs> and that would be crazy. But, yeah, I, I think it's just an old guy thing. Yeah. Um. I, yeah. Like when we had D three on, I deferred to him a lot because obviously it was their episode. But like, I have not. I'd say like six month experience of like interning with the companies and uh shit. So I literally know how they do that shit too. And there's obviously the differences. Um, you got to be precise is probably the main one. But at the end of the day, especially behind the scenes, in terms of like producing film. It really, maybe this is a, a improper perspective. It's really not the biggest difference between editing a video and getting the footage for that shit. The difference yeah. is you're capturing the footage when you're in ABC, CBS, ESPN, all that shit. But like editing film, putting uh, pushing agendas via text, um, having uh, slide changes, all that shit. This shit is not astronomically different but if you're a journalist you know how hard that shit is and you wouldn't know anything about the content creation shit that's new on the block so as a result you're bitter as fuck because to you this looks like i just woke up lifted a green screen and went live and sometimes that can be the case but it definitely is not all this shit is there are definitely well thought out things that are it, it Man, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat a dead horse, bro. We know what this shit is. Oh Nikki. What, what did Nikki say? What did Nikki say? Oh, she so she was she went off on Elliot Wilson because Elliot Wilson has some ties to Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. Um, and she was like, Jay-Z is doing this or whatever. I Nicki Minaj's live is extremely weird, so I won't necessarily even play it. It, it, it honestly makes no context. But she did allude to nobody owes you anything. And that's another thing that I feel as if is terrible about old old media, and they hate that shit, is the the idea of owing. Um, that exists in Skip Bayless, Brian Windhorst, uh, Jackie McMullen, uh, uh, what's, what's uh, Bob Ryan, all those older analysts and stuff like that feel as if Boston dudes, damn. <laughs> well, but but and you know, but you know why I know that is just listening to Bill Simmons and, and the way that they talk about it or whatever. Um, another Boston dude. Go, go. <laughs> no, because I listened to I listened to I listened to her him interview. It was either it was either Jackie or Bob or somebody. It was somebody one of the Boston people. Yeah, and, I mean, yeah, they're old school, so I get it. I get yeah, it. she she said that you know she didn't have a relationship with a player uh, on the Celtics, and then later on down the line she runs into the player and he's on a different team or whatever the case may be, and so then you know she kind of like pushes up on him and is like, why didn't we have you know why 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 do we got beef like what's going on and he was like oh you wrote this unfavorable article about me and she was like oh well it i wrote that and it came off that way because we didn't talk we didn't we didn't you know have these conversations and then her and bill simmons was like Mm-mm-mm. but i was like why do why do i have to talk to you for you to write a favorable article about me that was my thought process i don't owe you anything and I can guarantee you, you writing a bad article about me does not make me want to sit down more with you. And I think that's what Skip Bayless is going on about LeBron. Because he went the Brian Windhorse route, because he, or, uh, yeah, Brian Windhorse route, yeah. because he went the more by himself solo route, I'll do stuff on my own time, pick my own guys to do stuff. Then I'm going to go ahead and paint these nasty, bad narratives about you, et cetera, et cetera. What motivation do I have to sit down with you? And now he's doing it to Luca uh, because he doesn't like Mark Cuban as well. Why would I ever want to sit down with you? Especially if you don't need the money. Like, I'm Braun. <laughs> Fuck. I need so this I'll, attention for. I'll start my own media company and do my own shit, but I won't sit down with you because you feel the need to be nasty and unjust towards me in an attempt to get your shit off. So for Elliot Wilson to to 
presumably say this is what Nicki Minaj says. Owe you? Are you owe me? And I don't owe you. I don't owe you anything. Yeah. This kid over here is in his own lane, a totally different lane. It's popping over here. I don't. I don't have to go to the Breakfast Club. I'm gonna talk to him over here. There's another creator over here in the girl space. She does wigs or whatever. I'm gonna talk to her over here. And then sometimes I watch catfish videos on the internet. So I'm gonna go sit on this person's boat and, and catch catfish with them. But you damn sure ain't, I'm not going to sit up there with you and you ask me about the same BS and then you want to ask me these pressing questions just to later on down the line say you press me or sit up on the breakfast club and you talk about what Charlemagne, I'm a sucker fart out your ass. Why would I sit up there while that's happening? <laughs> that did happen. Yeah. <laughs> that, that did actually happen. Oh my God. It, hell, even Sexy Red went up to, did y'all see what happened when Sexy Red went up to the breakfast yeah, club? Yeah, I don't yeah. know why that was on my TL. I seen that shit. I'm like, hey man. Only thing I don't like about sex is she 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 dragged it, but I ain't mad at that at all. Did you see? So did you see the context behind why she said what she said? Mm -mm, I, I seen, that's the only thing I didn't see. I, I seen I seen a couple things. I never I seen a lot of clips. The only thing I didn't see was Jess Hilarious's first comment, whatever whatever comment. That's the only thing I don't know. So she goes on Breakfast Club for those that don't know, and she she says hi to Charlemagne, gives him a hug, all that stuff. Says hi to Envy, gives him a hug. Doesn't say nothing to Jess Hilarious. And almost on like that Birdman interview type shit, it's automatically seconds into it. What's going on? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Her, I'm not talking to you because you fake. You shady. You be saying all this stuff. She puts her hand blocking mm -hmm. her face to Jess Hilarious. And so then she's trying to figure out why she, why she's doing this. Je uh, Jess Hilarious calls her by her first name that on the thing. Crazy. And so then somebody finds the clip. Remember that time where Sexy Red, and they played the whole clip on there. Sexy Red was like, yeah, I've been burnt before. Um, I had chlamydia before, but that's because I was having sex without no condoms. And now, you know, and, and it gave me this fish smell uh, or condoms gave me a fish smell. So I didn't want to use condoms, but then I got burnt. And so now I'm using condoms. And then so just hilarious after they played the clip was like, and that ain't that ain't no that ain't the condoms that's got you smelling like fish. Alluding to is her that smell like fish. She saw that shit. She remembered it when she had to go on there. She stood on business. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, GDs. Yeah, that 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 goes from ninety percent to one hundred percent. She ain't drag nothing. So, but if if I'm if I have to be because I'm a newer artist or if I'm a more established artist, if I got the opportunity to either go on there where they've been talking about me, and now all of a sudden we got to be hunky dory, or go get sturdy with Kai, I'm gonna go get sturdy with Kai. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> no cap, bust down rollies. I, I would like to know how much of that is like the label telling her to go on certain platforms. Cause I feel like I don't know, like late Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent now, one hundred percent right now. Nicki Minaj, forty established. I'm not going there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mean. If you got the choice, that I don't think there's any reason to. But from what I know, like labels, like they have a big part in a lot of shit for artists. So. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think she doesn't move to the beat her own drum. Um, 